the washi tape shop sent me some washi tape thank you washi tape shop oh we are going to unbox these and just kind of unroll them a little bit and then i want to make a like journaling spread in my archer and olive notebook i've been wanting to do that or um what do they call it it's like a bullet journal um, I've been wanting to do some inspirational journaling spreads in this notebook, so we will choose some from this collection and uh, create a little journaling spread. Let's start with this one. It's called Enchanted Seasons Wide Washi Tape. This is cool. It has the months. January, February, March, April, May. June. I hope it's focusing on these. It has the whole year of cute washi. That is so cool. So it's got the whole year on this strip. I know a really good place to put these. Once I show you my new Franken planner setup, I have a page um, like from the dashboard planner that has like a monthly dashboard kind of a section and I'm making it anyway I just put some washi tape in it for each month these would look so good to go with that because I don't have the month labels on them so this would be really good for for doing something like that where you need a label for each month with like a cute sticker next up is radiance wide washi tape This one has little hand-drawn characters, like pencil or like watercolor characters. All kinds of different designs on this. Like this one could be a springtime, summer, or like there's all different like seasons. They're, they're doing all different activities too. This one is called the Spring Gallery Washi Tape Sticker Set. So these are the kind of washi tapes that have like washi rolls, but they have little stickers on the washi roll. So let's um, open this up and see what kind of designs are on it. These have little spring quotes. I like the colors because they're not like the same, you know, they're more, <clears throat> they're not our regular primary colors. They're a little bit different. Little like this kind of orangish yellow, this like peachy pink. I love those kind of colors. So a whole collection of spring stickers on this roll. We have two more little rolls with little like spring icons on them. Florals, gardening. I love these kind with the little like teapots, flowers, butterflies. Maybe I'll open that one up. Oh, there's a bicycle. This one has like square stickers, almost like box stickers. Let's open both of these. So this one has little square box stickers on it. All like springtime themes. Really cute. I love the boxes. So this one has bigger washi tape stickers. We have bunny rabbits and florals, springtime bouquets, really cute. Next up is Misty Haven washi tape sticker set. Oh, I like the colors on these. It's like green and like a uh, deep yellow and then this like periwinkle blue. So it has like a honey, kind of a honeybee theme to it. I love that mug. I always want sunflower stickers. I don't have a lot of those. And oh, I like that little, you could make like a really cute 
fence across the bottom of your planner. That could be really cute. I love these colors. All right. So this one's a little bit bigger. Oh, it's, yeah. So this whole thing's like a honeybee theme. Let's check this one out. Love the colors. This is this could be a really good planner spread with these colors: the green and bright yellow, sunflowers. Yes, I love the teacups and this color palette. Really pretty. I can't wait to make some planner spreads of these. Oh, it's like blueberries. Oh, it's like a blueberry theme. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this blueberry muffin. I hope it's focusing. I can't really tell. It's so cute. So we have two blueberry washi tape sticker um, tapes and then two like honey, honey and sunflower themes. So both of those are going to be really, really cute planner spreads. Okay, this one is called Misty Flower Washi Tape Sticker Set. And this set is gilded, so it has some um, foil on it. So it's a whole collection of like neutral florals with like goldish copper. Let's see, are they all gold? It looks like they're gold foil. So a whole collection of florals and butterflies in neutral colors with gold foil. These are all little stickers. This one's called Caffeine Canvas Wide Washi Slash Pet Tape. So which one is this? Is this washi or pet tape? I guess we will see. And what's the difference? <laughs> so the washi tape is like a paper and the pet tape is clear polyester. Okay, so... Ooh, it's like, it's like, um themed like old timey coffee. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, I like this one. That's so pretty. Look at this old school coffee press or coffee pot. Wow. Okay, this one's really cool. That's going to be a fun planner spread too. Last but not least, motivational washi tape sticker set. You know how I love a good motivational quote? I put them all in my planners to help me to stay positive and motivated. So let's check these out. All right, let's just look at these up close. There's so many little cute quotes. And look at this color palette. It's like a peach and um, what are we going to call this blue? It's like a soft greenish blue. This it's like almost a sage or a, what is that ocean blue called? The, the sea green. It's like in between sage and sea green. It's like grayish and then like these neutral colors and then this like bright peach, really cool color palette. And I love all these motivational quotes. Okay, I want to do a little journaling spread. So I think I'm just gonna grab some of my favorites from this collection that they sent me. So I really liked the bees and this blueberry. And then I think I'm gonna put like a little space to write something and just make a few different like um, writing areas. So look at that. This will be my little blueberry area. Let's put something with it. Like um, maybe I might need to grab a couple. Do I want to put box? No, I can just use, I won't need box stickers because this already has like good writing surface. Oh, okay. I got to have this blueberry muffin. Okay. That's adorable. That's going in here. And then maybe a couple uh, of extra stickers kind of to like be our border for this section. Like this section is going to be a little place to write 
um, with this little blueberry theme around it. So I think I'm going to take some of these cute flowers like this and just kind of make, uh, I don't know, <laughs> like a border. And then I'll have like a little writing space there. Let's see. Let's see how this turns out. It's going to be a little bit eclectic. All right. So then that'll be like one little space for either a quote or, or to write something in there. All right. I definitely want to do something with the, um, the bumblebee theme. So let's do the same. Let's do opposite though. Let's put this at the top on this side something with these bumblebees and the honey. All right, I changed my mind because I really love how the, this little fence is. I think we're gonna go do it across the bottom. I don't know, it just feels weird to me if it's in the top of the page. So I've been, I wanna put this little wooden fence across the bottom, like a couple of these, and um, do like almost the same thing, but with this other theme on this side. Oops, sticker. Okay, I think I like this little house. We'll put this in the middle. How about like a little bit in front of the fence? Okay, let's add like a few little honeybees and like a little butterfly. And how are we going to section this off? Maybe, maybe we'll just leave some space there. I think some of these flowers would look good with it too. Okay, I love this coffee collection. So I think I'm gonna grab the ones that have the actual coffee beans on them. Oh, is this the kind that I cut? Okay, these aren't stickers. So this kind I need to cut out. So let me grab my scissors and uh, trim this kind of how I want it. I want that one and I want this one. Then we'll find a coffee quote to go with it, whichever coffee quote I'm that, you know, works for me. Now these kind that have the paper on the back, you can cut out any shape that you want. You can also just cut it a square, like a washi strip, or you can trim around it, whatever you want to do. Like it's so flexible. I'm going to trim this one just a little bit, but I'm not like super detailed uh, with this kind of thing. <laughs> so just a little trim. So it kind of looks more like the shape of the sticker that I want it to look like. And then I will just peel it off of here. Then you just peel off the backing and place your sticker wherever you want it to go. All right, let's put this one over here and I'll have some journaling space in between. All right, I think I like this little one that says coffee is my love language and I'm gonna cut it out with those little coffee beans above it so that they'll be right there with the quote. All right, let's grab a few quotes from the inspirational stickers. Like I love how this color kind of goes with this bee theme. Plus it says bee leave. Oh, maybe just like that. Oh, see, look how cute this little like little area is. Here's another coffee quote. It's coffee o'clock. I love how these little florals match with some of these neutral um, inspirational stickers. So like, let's grab one of those. <gasps> Look how cute that is. And then I'll grab another one of the florals. This one has bees on it too. Let's grab just like a different, like a 
like this one. Or like this one. All right, we gotta add a little coffee mug over here where it's coffee o'clock. All right, I'm not 100% on this one, but I think maybe, I really kind of like this moth slash butterfly, and I kind of just wanna use it. I don't think I love it with that one. Let me find another one that this will look good with. Okay, here's a quote that the colors look good. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one here because I wanna have writing space here, writing space here. So I'm gonna put it kind of like that. Let's add in this little butterfly moth gold foil on it. Okay, I think that's it. That way I have like a little bit of a prompt. Oh, I got makeup on it, I'll do erase that. Where's my eraser? Here it is. That way I have a little bit of a prompt for each kind of section for journaling. So I have like a little section here, a little section here, 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 and there. And um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna journal about yet, but I wanted to start decorating some of these pages so that when I get inspired to journal, I have like a place to go and I can be like, oh yeah, this is really cute. This gives me some ideas and I can write and fill in things that, you know, I can create a spread to inspire me and then go back in and um, do some journaling. So I love how it turned out. If you want to shop with the washi tape shop, you can use code the planner channel 10 to get 10% off your order. And, um, let me know if any of these collection you want to see in another planner spread or journaling spread, put that in the comments. Make sure you're subscribed for more planner decorating videos and unboxings, as well as planning classes on Sundays. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.